you're registered for VAT and you're on the flat rate scheme. I'm assuming that you've printed off your 36 pages of guidelines but there's a chance you may have missed something in there. OK, we're ready to submit the return. At the top of the return, the name of your company will be there, along with your VAT registration number. Those will be entered automatically by HMRC, likewise with the VAT period dates. Let's go to the interesting part. Let's fill in the boxes. Now normally when I fill in a form, I start at box 1, go to box 2, then 3, 4 and so on. But not in this case. If you refer to page 19 of your guidelines, it will point you at box number 6 first. Let's have a look at box number 6. Total value of sales and all other outputs excluding any VAT. Well in fact, for the flat rate scheme, this should say total value of sales and all other outputs including any VAT. Why on earth we can't have a different form for flat rate? I have no idea. So let's assume the total value of, value of sales were £10,000 plus VAT at 17.5%. So that would give us a total of 11,750. Now we can go back to box 1. Let's assume your flat rate is 10%. I'm using 10% because it's a nice easy number to work with. It's unlikely yours will be 10%. Right, 10% of box 6 is 1,000 175 pounds. VAT due in this period on acquisitions from EC member states, in my case, zero. Total VAT due, box one plus box two, even I can add that up, 1175. VAT reclaimed, that will be none. I'm not going to type none, don't type none in these boxes, type zero. It is possible that you may reclaim some VAT if you've had a large purchase, but you'll need to refer to your 36 page manual to figure that out. Net VAT to be paid, boxes three and four, that's 11.75. Now, boxes nine, ten, sorry 7, 8 and 9 don't apply in my case if they apply in yours again you will need to refer to your 36 page document the main point of this video is the confusion over box number 6 that should be the total value of sales and all other outgoings including any VAT watch out folks